I'm actually pretty excited about that. It'll be good for the city. I'm so happy I hadn't heard that today. Those were the typical reactions in Trema to this. Hey! The official opening of the new Interbelt Bridge. The Tremont neighborhood has been hit especially hard with street closings and detours during all this construction. Allison Hurley lives in Tremont. She owns a landscaping company and maintains many homes in the neighborhood. For her, having work stop on the new bridge means only one thing. I'm not looking forward to the demolition of the old bridge just because I, I will be right there and uh, it's going to be a few years before that construction noise stops. But despite all that, she still feels it'll be worth it. It's nice to have something brand new in the city too. You haven't seen that for a while. Um, so I think, it's, I think it's a good thing. The Animal Protective League has been dealing with their own construction issues. These animals have had to wait a little bit longer for that new home because their new owners have been getting turned around. It definitely has been an issue for people trying to find us. Um, and we have had those calls too where people are lost. Hopefully today's festivities will make some of those calls a little less desperate. Um, now when those people call in, we just give that straight, you know, here you're going to go 90 East, pick up West 14th, make a right, you're here. While many residents here are glad to see the completion of Bridge 1, they're bracing for the construction of Bridge 2. Live on 5 in Tremont, I'm Brian Archer.